Hey all, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today's video is all about um, my evening skincare routine. It's also a little bit about our just, my family's evening routine in general. Um, this routine's a little off um, because my husband got home late and not only that, but we had, we have some friends staying with us. They've been staying with us for months. They have a trailer here at our house and um, they were over and we were visiting for like an hour well maybe half an hour and then Josiah just took Judah our eldest boy well our eldest kid and they went to my in-laws house which is just up the road from us and went to go get a haircut because my father-in-law cuts hair so both of them are getting a haircut and then I am here with my daughter and my baby my little boy um, our newest little babe and so anyway so now what I'm gonna just do is I'm gonna clean up after dinner and continue to take you throughout our evening Show me your haircut, buddy. Turn around. Looks good, bud. I see this. <laughs> and I want to see it. No pressure. Kyla in her pajamas. You guys all ready for bed? Yeah. Yeah? Let's go I brush your teeth. Alright, so my skincare routine usually starts in the shower in the evening. And I get my body nice and rinsed really well a couple times and then I take my cleanser now my cleanser is homemade I just use castle soap water uh, aloe vera I also can add some oils occasionally some really good oils like original olive oil and then I just mix those together with some essential oils and that's it and then I go ahead and put that on my face and give it a good just rub in my hands and then I rub my face in it all in it Now before I continue talking about my skincare routine, I want to talk about this brush set that was sent to me by a company called Devel about a month ago. They have a skincare system um, with a brunch, bunch of different brush heads to the system. Um, they have a cleansing brush that really does well with getting the deep dirt and grime in your face. They also have a exfoliating brush for your face and for your body. So the big body brush is an exfoliating brush and then they also sent a pumice stone. These brushes are really good quality and are still in really good shape after a month of use. And I have a 70% off coupon code for Devel and some of their products, their facial cleansing brushes and their styling tools and this actual brush set. You can get 70% off of it and so that puts it down to $28.50 uh, I think or something like that. Anyway, it's $28 is quite a steal. Um, so 70% off, you can look at the description down below for that coupon code. It's SBK and go check their company out and some of their products. So anyway, but now back to my skincare routine. As you can see, I am using the facial cleansing head uh, for washing my face and really cleansing it. So I'm just going all over my face with the cleansing brush and it is doing a great job. It's very gentle on my skin. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't make my skin red and rashy. It's very gentle and it also does a really good job with cleaning my face because, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I have used facial cleansing brushes before that are just too rough on my face and they clean a little too well if you know what I mean. So this one is very gentle and I have really enjoyed it. Now another part of my skincare routine I'd like to talk about is the fact that I do not bathe every day. I bathe about every other day, every two days depending on how stinky or smelly or dusty I am. Um, and I only wash my face once a week. 
I'm not going to go into too much of a detail of why I do that, but in short, I don't want to strip my natural my skin's natural oils every single day. Um, I feel like that makes my skin even drier, and I want to keep those oils, and so I try to stay away from washing my body all the time. Um, I do tend, though, I do. Um, keep myself smelling good so I try to like if I'm really stinky that day but I feel like the rest of my body's fine so I have some smelly pits then I will go ahead and wash those just with a washcloth um, but I do try to stay away from stripping the oils with soap uh, stripping my skin's natural oils with soap every day another part of my skincare routine is actually exfoliating anywhere from one to two times a week um, I do this with either a sugar scrub a coffee scrub um, you could do a milk and honey scrub and then I also use this big body brush as you can see here um, you can use a small facial um, exfoliating brush too if you're just doing your face but I usually if I'm doing my face I'll usually do my body as well and so when I'm taking a shower I'll just get in the shower and apply all the exfoliating uh, scrub to my body and my face and then I'll use the body exfoliant for my body and the facial exfoliant for my face. I don't do this every day um, and as you can see I'm not even using an exfoliant um, today just the brush. And then when I'm done showering I rinse my whole body in cold water. It's like my last step of washing and it's actually really nice and invigorating and really good for your skin. Then I get out and dry off and move on to the next step in my skincare routine. Alright so I'm out of the shower and I've dried off so I've cleansed my body. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my skincare routine for the evening. And what I like to do first is, this is not always, but um, most of the time I use this, but aloe vera gel. Um, try to get a pure aloe vera gel, not any, not one with like synthetic colors or synthetic ingredients or anything, just plain aloe vera. Um, and I like to just take a tiny bit and put oops, too much, <laughs> a bit, enough to smear all over your face and just rub it between your fingers or on your palms of your hands and rub it all over your skin. Now my skin um, is very, my skin type is kind of a com combination, um, but it usually goes more towards the dry side. Um, and so aloe vera, actually helps with moisturizing and it also can help heal your skin so you can see I have a few pimples um, but my skin is really good for the most part um, the real problem with my skin that I have it is definitely sensitive um, I just don't wear a whole lot of makeup and um, I try to eat fairly healthy um, but my skin on my face is always been fairly I don't have a whole lot of acne on my face um, other parts of my body like my legs and um, some of those areas do tend to get acne. They're just more prone to acne. Um, my face is not prone to acne except for this spot and occasionally up here. Um, but that's it. And so anyway, the most sensitive spot on my body actually is my hands. Um, I don't know if you can see, but as you can see it's very inflamed right here. It's my ring finger. And I used to get um, staph infection, not staph infections, but infections on my hands with uh, too much staph on them. And so I have been able to keep it at bay with just the regimen that I put on my face, really. Um, but yeah, anyway, my skin type is fairly sensitive, but also with a combination of oily and dry, but more towards the dry side. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so I put aloe vera on my skin. And then what I like to do is I will occasionally apply breast milk. <laughs> yes, I know. I'm a nursing mom and breast milk is liquid gold. It helps um, with so many different skin conditions. And so occasionally I will put that on. I'm not doing that tonight because I just don't feel like doing it. Um, but sometimes I will apply breast milk to my skin, especially if I have a bad breakout, um, which I never really have. I usually have that on other parts of my body, which then I apply breast milk to them. But anyway, so. Now what I'm going to do is I like to usually moisturize my face um, after or with a type of good oil. So I'll either use coconut oil, which is one that I really like too, which is extra virgin cold pressed uh, coconut oil. I use an organic 
organic brand from Azure Standard. And then, but what I'm gonna be using tonight is actually some castor oil. This is cold pressed and non-GMO. Um, castor oil is really good for your skin and it has a million benefits. Um, or a lot of benefits, I don't know about a million, but you know what I mean. And so I'm gonna rub this all over my skin and that's gonna be my moisturizer slash hydrator. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And just a little, you don't need a whole lot. Um, castor oil is a very thick oil and it's not very runny, so it's very cakey sometimes, but it really and it does well on your skin once it soaks in. I just really like to rub it in um, and really put pressure on your, especially your cheekbones, it can really help get blood flowing and really help bring blood up to your face. Um, and all that so really good for your skin to just rub your head really give it a good massage it feels so good <laughs> so nice so I put castor oil on my face and I actually do put it all over my not all over my body but in certain areas like my armpits um, my stomach occasionally for like the stretch marks and stuff after having three kids there are some down there um, and then I occasionally put it on my buttocks, but also my legs and I did shave today So like really trying to get your legs um, Moisturized after shaving is really good and it feels amazing um, So anyway, all right, so that's pretty much all I do for my skincare routine. Um, it's very simple um, I try to drink a lot of water and minerals um, a lot of I do usually take trace mineral minerals. I'm out of them now, but they're really good to be taking um, for skin and other other stuff. But um, anyway, so lots of minerals, uh, salt, taking lots of salt, good salt. I use Himalayan pink salt and I also use Celtic sea salt, and those are really good for you. Um, and then just trying to eat a balanced diet with a lot of like rich whole fats of like um, avocado and coconut oil and um, meats um, and all that kind of thing, all those kinds of things. Anyway, but that's pretty much all I do for my skincare routine. I try to be balanced while eating, I try to drink water, um, and then I also try to, uh, like I said, eat a balanced diet try to get some exercise in. Um, I haven't been eating super great. That's probably that's why I'm breaking out right here. Every time I eat like processed foods and stuff, I break out right here. It's always a telltale sign that I haven't been eating healthy. Um, but I usually do eat pretty healthy. And so anyway, that is my skincare routine. I really only do the evening skin routines. In the morning, I just get up, brush my teeth, brush my hair. Um, sometimes I'll put some witch hazel on my face. Um, and I'll, I'll alternate also, I wanted to mention, I'll alternate aloe vera and witch hazel occasionally um, for the step that I did with aloe vera, do, aloe vera gel. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, I don't do a whole lot of skin care in the morning. And then at night is my skin care is when I do my skincare. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. Um, it's super simple. There's not a whole lot to share. Um, and so, yeah, anyway, I hope it was helpful or if you guys were intrigued with, um, or if you guys were ever curious about what I do, um, I've shared some skin, a skincare routine before and it changes up pretty much every year. I do something different, um, but yeah, anyway, so. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great one.